Hi, I'm Stephen Green. Now, come with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Taking every thought captive. Now, how wide should that be? Should your only ambition be to take every thought of yours captive? Or should you be aiming to take thoughts captive at work? in government and the media, in your school or university? Is this an internal or an external requirement, in other words? Now, the previous verse speaks of the weapons of our warfare not being carnal but mighty for pulling down strongholds. So, if we are using spiritual weapons, by which I have no doubt the blessed apostle means the scriptures, the word of God, I'm taking it we are using them against spiritual strongholds. But that doesn't bring us any further along to working out whether he means internal strongholds in our mind or external ones in society around us. But the following verse says this, And having it a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So this verse 6 clarifies verse 5. The word when says you deal with the spiritual strongholds holding you back. Then you could start on those in the society in which you live. I'm not going to bore you with a possible list of spiritual strongholds which might be holding sway in your life. They're all called sin, and they're listed in the pages of Scripture. Just get into the Word. But there's a parallel, though, with our Lord's Word about the, the moat and the beam in Matthew's and Luke's Gospel. Here's Matthew chapter 7. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. So straighten your own life out, says the Lord, and then you can begin to prophesy to the world at large. The 19th century Bible commentator Albert Barnes said the strongholds of which Paul speaks are all the purposes of the soul, all the powers of reason, memory, judgment, fancy in an individual, all to come unto the laws of Christ. All the emotions and feelings of the heart should be controlled by him and led by him as a captive is led by a victor. So that's internal, your own imaginations, your own self-government. Then he says, the strongholds of philosophy, paganism and sin should be demolished and all the opinions, plans and purposes of the world should become subject to the all-conquering Redeemer. Wow, now that's external. Everything must be told in his subject to Christ. Every high thing, every place of learning, every thought in every philosophy department, in every university, all government and every legislature must be brought into captivity to Christ to do his will. To sum up, first take your thoughts captive to Christ. When they are, you'll be an effective spiritual warrior for the kingdom of God. You'll be taking every thought everywhere captive as well. Give God the glory when that happens. Leave your comments, please. Subscribe to the channel, tap the bell, like and share this nano sermon. Leave your details on the link below. And why not support us with a gift? Thanks for watching. <laughs>